So President Biden's new plan for tackling the COVID pandemic, it focuses on public health, schools, and the economy. We have the tools to combat COVID-19, and a distinct minority of Americans, supported by a distinct minority of elected officials, are keeping us from turning the corner. The president signed an executive order requiring federal executive branch workers be vaccinated. Another extends the very same standard to employees of contractors who do business with the federal government. The orders could have sweeping impacts also on the American workforce. Andre Lucia joining us live tonight with a look at who could be affected and some of the legal issues that could be involved here as well. A lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. The president's actions uh, today uh, could directly impact an estimated 100 million workers. To put that in perspective, we're talking about two thirds of the U.S. workforce uh, or about 30 percent of all Americans. Should the vaccine mandates take effect, most workers would get a choice between the vaccine and regular testing. Federal workers, that's about 10 million people, would not. Those who refuse vaccination without either a documented medical or religious exemption could be fired. The American Federation of Government Employees took issue with that mandate and released a statement today saying changes like this should be negotiated with our bargaining units where appropriate. Put simply, workers deserve a voice in their working conditions. Attorneys I spoke to say the president has the ability to make this requirement of federal workers, even federal contractors. What's in question is the larger action he's taking, directing the Department of Labor to place requirements on large private companies. I spoke to two different attorneys specializing in constitutional law who had different opinions on how this will stand up in court. I th there's a very strong argument that the federal government has the power to act and to regulate in the interest of the health of American workers. And that's true under the Constitution's Commerce Clause. It's easy to tell agencies what you want them to do, but agencies are constrained by law. They have to move in a certain way to make sure everybody has a chance to weigh in, that their actions are fair to everyone. And one thing these two attorneys agreed on is that this is practically guaranteed to end up in court with the president's power being called into question. Reporting live, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.